Hey everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be doing my summer slash birthday book haul. Since my birthday came last week and I bought some books during the summer, I thought I would share you guys the books that I got this summer. So, let's get to the books. First book I got, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. It's about this girl who's allergic to literally everything, and she has a protective mom, and then she meets this boy who lives in next door, and they develop a friendship and then relationship. The reason I picked up this book is because I saw the, I know the movie came out this year, and I saw the movie trailer, and I thought it would look like a good movie, and it reminded me of The Fault in Our Stars, so that's why I'm getting it. I want to read this book. <laughs> or I got this book. <laughs> Next, I got Radiance by Allison Noel, and this is a spin-off series of the Immortal series, and this is about her sister. I've read the first three books, of, or four books of the Immortal series. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm planning on reading the series and finish it up so I can read the spin-off series of it. Next book I got is Cinder by Marissa Meyer, and and this is a um, sci-fi retelling of Cinderella, and I heard a lot of good things about the series, and I want to read it, and and since and Cinderella cyborg, so I I am really into sci-fi, so so I'm excited to read the series when I get to it. <laughs> Next book I got is Splinter by H. T. Howard, and this is a Fairy tale retelling of Alice in Wonderland, and I, I've always been into retelling since there's like a lot of them that I heard of, and I heard this is a good book, so and a, and it's a good series, so I decided to pick this one up. The next book I got is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, and this book is a dystopian book that's about kids with superpowers or something. Thing, and I've been watching superhero movies since I was a kid, and and this really grabbed my interest. And I've heard, I also heard great things about it, and I'm really interested in reading the series. <laughs> Next, I got Entwined by Heather Dixon. This is a fairy tale retelling of the Twelve Dancing Princesses, and one of the employees from Half Price Books said it was a, it's a good book, so I decided to get this. <laughs> Second, I got two editions of Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I'm just a big fan of Peter Pan since it, I saw the Disney Disney's version, and I I just love Peter Pan, and I wanted to get these editions of Peter Pan. I just love Peter Pan. <laughs> Next book I got the Upside of Unrequited by Becky Everton. Albertelli. Um, this is about this girl who had 26 crushes and she never acts on them until her twin sister tells her to act on um, act on them or go for it. I picked this book up because I not only I've heard good reviews about it, it kind of, the main character reminds me of myself when I was in high school and I and I'm really interested in reading this book. <laughs> Next book I got I See London, I See France by Sarah Menlinowski. I I don't know how to pronounce last names really well, but if you guys want to let me know how the last names are actually pronounced, if I mispronounce any authors, just let me know in the comments down below so I would know how to say properly. But anyways, um, this um, book is about um, two best friends who are going to this Europe trip, and then they run into her best friend's ex-boyfriend, and I got got really interested in this book because of the cover, because it looks like a, a journal cover, and I'm, because since I'm a writer, I would, I love seeing different designs on journals, so I'm really interested in reading this book. Next book I got, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zampia. This book is about this girl who's like, in this like web world or something and and she she goes there whenever she avoids like her 
life problems or something and then people found out about it. I don't know what what this book's about, but I'm really interested in see how a good book it is since I've heard so many great things about it. And I know I said in few few of the books I've heard great things, but I like I said in my book to newbie tag video, I wanna expand my reading taste so and if you guys haven't seen my book to newbie tag I will leave it in the comments down below just so you would check it out <laughs> next book I got is um, Princess and Train by May Cabot and this is one of the sequels of the Princess Diary series I read the first book and I and I know I love the movies as more than the books but I'm really curious about what happens in the sequel so yeah. Next book I got is uh, My Life Next Door by Hunley Fitzpatrick. And this is a book about this girl who um, meets this guy next door and she keeps a relationship a secret from her family or something. I don't know, but I, one of my college classmates has read this book and she said it was good, so I decided to pick this one up. The next book I got is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Calero, and this is a retelling of Sherlock Holmes, and I've been really into Sherlock Holmes, and I want to read this book because of that. Next I got Two Truths and a Lie by Sarah Shepard. I've read the first book of the Lion Game series, but I haven't read the rest of the books, so I decided to to get the sequels of it. Next one is Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I've been really into her books lately since um, I'm the Doctor and now I'm Donna Noble met Agatha Christie and my boyfriend's reading this book so I decided to read it and also with the remake coming out it makes me want to read this book more. <laughs> Next book I got is The Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kammerer. And this book's about this girl who's been writing uh, letters to her mom who passed away. And then the, this guy decided to respond to one of them. And it gra just grabbed my interest. And I wanted to read this book. The next book I got is On the Adventures of Robin Hood by Paul Creswick. And this is the um, Elizabethan version of Robin Hood. And I got this for my birthday from my boyfriend. And I thank him for that because I love Robin Hood. And I can't wait to read this, uh, read Robin Hood with a different kind of English. <laughs> the next one is I got is Hercule Poirot, The Complete Short Stories by Agatha Christie. My, my boyfriend's parents gave me this book, so I thank them for it, and and like I said, with the Murder on the Orient Express, I've been interested in reading her books lately, so I'm excited to read this book. Next book I got is Umberland by Wendy Spinelli. I've read Everland, and I love Everland, so this is the sequel to Everland, and it's a Alice in Wonderland retelling, and I'm really excited to read the sequel. The next book I got is Geekerella by Ashley Poston and this is a retelling of Cinderella and it's about this girl named Elle or Ellie I I don't know but she is a big fan of this sci-fi show and Prince Charming is the star of the reboot and I'm really interested in to uh, really interested in reading it. The last book I going to be talking about is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. And like I said, I'm really into Sherlock Holmes recently, and I like mysteries. And plus, this is the Barnes & Noble edition of Sherlock Holmes, and I love the Barnes & Noble editions of different classics because they always has um, cool covers. <laughs> so that is all for my summer slash birthday book haul. Um, I know some of the books I mentioned I said I'm really interested in them but I'm interested in a lot of books lately so I hope I 
get to reading them soon. And if you guys want to know where I got these books, I got them at Half Price Books, Barnes & Noble, and Amazon. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!